Hip hip! Hooray! Hip hip! Hooray! Hip hip! Hooray! Well, this morning, I thought, because it's a celebration, I'd show you some of my pictures. On the wall behind me, I've got pictures that were taken when uh, Becky and I got engaged. We went and had a photo shoot at a well-known photography company in Milton Keynes. And then also next to it is a picture of Isaac. Isaac when he was a baby. Those are pictures of celebration. And this morning, as we think about Palm Sunday, it's somewhat of a celebration. It's a celebration because there are those who are out on the streets shouting, Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. I wonder if you were Jesus, what kind of reaction that would make you feel? Would you feel elated and excited? I wonder what kind of emotion we feel when we have a celebration in our own family. I said uh, in our introduction, I'm really looking forward to Easter. I'm looking forward to the celebration of Easter. Now it is more than just chocolate and it's more than just uh, being able to have a, a nice glass of Bucks Fizz this time next Sunday. It's a celebration of Jesus risen from the dead and that's what we'll be celebrating when we get together this time next Sunday. But Palm Sunday is a celebration because it's the beginning of something. But it's the beginning of something that's going to be quite nasty before we get to the celebration of next Sunday. You see, if we read our Bibles and if we remember the story of Jesus's life, we see that it is a crowd that shout, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord on Palm Sunday. But it's the same crowd that will be shouting, crucify him, crucify him when we gather on Good Friday. Jesus knew that, yes, people were going to shout and praise him to be Hosanna, but they also knew that there were those who were going to betray him. Jesus knew that the week that is the final week of his life was going to be an adventure. It was going to be an adventure because it would have the high peak at the beginning, the celebration. It was then going to have the absolute depth of knowing that a true friend would come out and betray when I think about the picture behind me and think about uh, my proposal to Becky, that picture in the middle is actually me holding Becky's engagement ring and Becky kind of stepping back. I wonder what she thought. I mean, I'd asked her to marry me, which I think I'm a good catch. I'm a good catch. But as we come to celebrate 10 years of married life, this uh December, it's been a journey. We've had some great highs and we've had some great lows. I'm sure that if I had time, I could write a book of my marriage to Becky. The story of the life of Jesus is recorded to us in the Bibles. Indeed, it's recorded by four different writers in the Gospels. They talk about what it is to follow Jesus the one born in the baby, the one who did a miraculous miracles, and on this Palm Sunday is the one that's hailed by the crowd as Hosanna. The challenge that I believe that Palm Sunday poses us is how are we going to walk through this week? Are we going to walk indeed through this week? Are we going to spend time following the adventure and the journey that takes Jesus from riding on into Jerusalem on a donkey to the uh, saviour that will hang 
upon the cross with his arms stretched out. Will we walk that journey? Jesus said that to be one of his followers, we are to deny ourselves, take up our cross and follow him. Hip, hip, hooray. Hip, hip, hooray. We could this morning pause the story here. But actually the challenge for us this Palm Sunday is to say yes to Jesus, to taking up our cross and following him. Are we going to do that? Are we going to take time to get to know him this week? Wixom's Church has a number of opportunities this coming week to help you walk that journey of Holy Week. Each day, Becky will be sharing, we recorded them last year, but we're going to re-put them up this year, stories that share a bit of the encounter of what happened to Jesus in that final week. Are you going to watch those stories? Each evening, I'm going to be sharing a reflection on the encounters of Holy Week, looking at what it was like for Jesus. What happened to him in that final week? What happened in terms of Judas going and uh, saying to the religious leaders, yes, I'm prepared to uh, hand Jesus over. There are lots of ways that we can interact this week with the story. Are we going to join us for messy church on Saturday when we think about what it means to have that period between the Jesus hanging on a cross and the celebration of Easter. Next week we'll have the Bishop of Bedford with us uh, bringing an Easter message to us. But friends we cannot, however old we are, just allow this week to pass us by we cannot have one celebration this Sunday and another celebration next Sunday without walking with Jesus, the journey to the cross. That's the challenge. Marriage has been a journey. Having Isaac and Kezia has been for us a journey of knowing what it means to parent. Jesus went through the ultimate journey this week when he went to the cross. Our opportunity this week is to journey with him. Are we going to? The choice is ours. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you. We thank you that you are the God of Palm Sunday. You are the one who receives the praises of your people. You are the one that hears us when we say, Hosanna to God in the highest heaven. But you're the same God who calls us and challenges us to take up our cross this Holy Week and walk with Jesus. Help us this Holy Week as we journey with you to have revealed to us anew and afresh the journey of what our blessed Lord went through. Help us to get to know that story deeper. Remind us to take those times this week to get to look at our Bibles, to take time out to pray. Help us not just be uh, holding on to two celebrations, the celebration of Palm Sunday and the celebration of Easter Day, without walking the way of the cross. Help us this week, whatever age we are, wherever we are and whatever's going on, to take time this Holy Week to get to know you more in your precious and wonderful name, Jesus. Amen. We're going to have our final song as we come into land this morning. So let's get up and praise God uh, on this Palm Sunday with another song. Hip, hip, hooray. Hip, hip, hooray. Hip, hip, hooray. Your name. 
a lively and upbeat song there uh, to bring our Palm Sunday celebration to a close. Uh, just a reminder to you that uh, we've got events all throughout this Holy Week. Um, and I mentioned those in my message. If you've missed uh, those, I'm going to put them on a slide at the end of our time together this morning. So at the end, uh, when I finish talking, the uh, times uh, of our celebrations for Holy Week will be available at, or as our final uh, slide this morning. But I hope you'll join us back here next Sunday to celebrate the joy of Easter uh, with uh, my friend, the Bishop of Bedford. He'll be joining us uh, too for that. And we've got uh, a time of breaking of bread. So two uh, events next Sunday morning, one live, one uh, uh, breakfast church pre-recorded but I hope you can uh, join us for those I hope and pray that this coming week that you will journey with Jesus as we walk again the way of the cross it's great that it's half term it's great that the restrictions are uh, being eased but the challenge for all of us whatever our level of faith this week is to spend some time uh, with Jesus. I'm going to pray for us as we come in to uh, finish this morning. I'm going to pray God's blessing upon us. I'm going to pray God's blessing upon us as we walk with Jesus, the way of the cross. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you. We thank you for the opportunity to gather once again uh, this morning as Wixom's Breakfast Church. We thank you that we can join together as old and young together to celebrate the message of Palm Sunday, to celebrate uh, the opportunity to be your people. As we go into this week, Heavenly Father, help us be your people. Give us grace to deny ourselves, to follow Jesus and may your blessing be upon us Father, Son and Holy Spirit this day, this week in your precious and wonderful name. Amen. Well we'll see you again this time next week. I'm off to try and see if I can find a party hat because a celebration of Palm Sunday is nothing without a party hat so I'm off to find one. Have a wonderful day friends and we'll see you again next Sunday. God bless. Bye bye. <laughs>